Just wait a few days and it'll melt. Wrong. This is, uh, shoot, what's today? The 28th of December, 25th. Christmas day was an ice storm day. It came as rain freezing. Coating of snow on top. 26th, we got a little bit and it melted and froze again. Yeah. No. It does not melt. That's what I get for being in the climate zone north and west of Boston enough on the New Hampshire border. Where I might as well be in central New York. But anyway, um, yeah, this is all slippery stuff. Like, holy. Woo! Yeah, you can know it's, it's almost glistening if you're looking. Yeah, see the shine? And when you, step, when you give pressure to it and it shines, that's a good sign. That's the stuff that your ice skates uh, ride on. The pressure causes the water, uh, the ice to melt because ice expands when it freezes and with pressure, a little bit of it will melt. And that's how ice uh, skates work. Anyway, Chloe's out here doing her thing. We're surveying the icy mess. But, yak tracks help. That metal, uh, metal spirals on that X pattern give enough traction that I'm not falling down and causing more knee surgeries to happen. And that's the way she goes. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's a slightly overcast day here. Uh, I was in the 20s last night. Maybe, maybe we'll get above freezing today. But yeah, it's, it's almost January. This stuff will accumulate. February, it'll accumulate more. We usually get more snow in February. Then by March, it starts melting. And by April, usually it gets melted. But for now, this is actually very little snow for this time of year for us. Highly unusual not to have a mountain of snow on top of the burning pile. In our town, January 15th, you can apply for a permit to burn um, brush. You know, and light yard waste, which is exactly what that is. Um, definitely not what that is. So anyway, uh, yeah. But my swales that I cut in the yard over the years are working. You know, so I kind of cut this here to direct and then away from this worn path so it doesn't erode. And that's keeping this pond, this little, it kind of ponds up sometimes. Keeps that fairly low. That one over there, I finally cut through here, helps drain that off a little bit. And uh, yeah, looking good. And over here's where we had a dead pine tree here, knocked it over, pulled it out with the backhoe. And that's the story. And that's the neighboring land that goes way back. Ours also goes pretty far back to that big pine tree way. Uh, if you could see it, you can see that pine tree. It's the next one behind it. Have a good day.